Hey, Hankel. I'm at the monument. You were right. Not much left of it. Good. Look closely. There is much more to it than meets the eye. There's a plaque here. Oof, a lot of names on it. Are those the victims of a massacre? Yes, yeah, 64 names. Things were starting to get pretty bad outside the walls around then, and the army needed more weapons. So they confiscated the civilians' weapons. Private ownership of any sort of firearm and its ammunition was forbidden thereafter. What happened here? That is where the riots started. People were terrified. How could they protect themselves and their families? There was massive unrest. So, a curfew in place. And homes were raided to ensure no one was hiding any weapons. Punishment for those who didn't comply was quite severe. Shots were fired. The army started shooting at people. Panic broke out. And of course, things only got worse. The riots escalated. It was the beginning of the end. <sighs> Light the candle. So you're saying that Pratt made a bad call, taking people's guns away? Hard to know for sure, but it didn't end well for anyone. In fact, the main irony <laughs> is that the army soon ran out of ammunition. And just like that, firearms became obsolete. At least, that's what's generally believed to have happened. Now, you'll hear some folks claim that Pratt kept a secret stash of ammunition somewhere in the city. But if so, he took that secret to the grave. So I guess we'll never really know. And that's the thing about history. We rarely ever really know. It's not a hard science. History is fragile as the passing of time. It takes the vigilance of people like myself to make sure it's not rewritten to suit the whim of each new generation's self-righteous fight. The duty of remembrance. Everyone should practice it. Farewell now, Pilgrim. I hope this little trip down memory lane has illuminated your path.
on you better be worth it.
So thirsty. Be respectful around here. This used to be a holy place. Don't be so rude. to the Bulgarian. He's got parts. What if he doesn't want to sell it? Oh, come on. He'll sell it to you if you can afford to jack up prices. I don't want to come over and see us next week. What? If you promise, you know. Stone? That depends. What do you want? Your son sent me. You've got the CD? Yeah. And your son's doing good, if you were wondering. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the disc. Now, what's all this about the CD containing the fate of mankind? If I may be frank, this may very well be mankind's only salvation. People burn books to keep themselves warm at night. They use oil canvases to patch holes in roofs. And in Gothic cathedrals, they sell tomatoes. 
They don't understand that no man lasts forever, contrary to art. That's it. Do you hear? And now this transition. Quite so. Hopefully. I'm looking for work. Oh, I'm sorry. Harvest's already in. All milled and ready to go. I see. Thanks anyway. But wait. <sighs> Take this. A little sweetness for the surplus. Mum, don't you know who that is? He's a pilgrim. He's no criminal, Benny. Look at him. In his eyes. Do you see what I see? We must judge people with our own hearts and eyes, and not based on rumor or innuendo. Thanks. Someone's been stealing our water, and nobody's doing anything about it. Such a shame. You know this city was a fishing village centuries ago? God, I would Sophia kill for sushi. Aren't you? Better keep a close eye on your biomarker if you're on a night run. Sometimes I wake up at night and forget the fall even happened. Shoes doesn't mean you're poor. If you've got no one to lean on, that's what you container. 
Hey, little guy. Where are your parents? I'm not little. Okay, sure. What are you doing here alone? I'm on an important mission. Oh, a mission, huh? All right, what kind of mission? Secret mission, of course. Super secret. And I ain't telling you. Would you tell me if I offered to help? I don't need any help. But if you gotta know, I'm fetching food for my parents. I do it all the time. No biggie. Seems dangerous. Couldn't your parents at least come with you? Nope. Like I said, no biggie. I can handle it. I can handle anything. Hey, listen. You are incredibly brave, but I'd really like to help. I suppose I could bring you on board. Heck, I could even pay you. How's that? So now kids are hiring me. Why not? What are your orders, sir? There's a shop on West Horizon Lane, just before you hit the chemical zone. I was loading backpacks with food when those nasties showed up and chased me out. Bring me those backpacks, and I'll give you a super weapon. My dad's weapon. So, the mission's to get food for your parents. Yeah, that's right. And you can deliver it to our home. We live on the edge of the chemical zone. Only place where my parents are safe. Hmm. It would be best to get the backpacks at night, when the infected aren't around. Sure, if you say so. I don't know. But you'll do it, right? I can't promise anything, but we'll see. Ah, oh, okay. We'll see you soon, hopefully.
Great. Another water thief. Just what I need. Between thieves and infected, I'll be out of business soon. I'm here because a guy named Julian claims you sold him poisoned water. I didn't poison anything. All right? Uh, Julian claims otherwise. Sure. Listen to the guy who sold me flour mixed with plaster. If you're not the thief, how are you with infected? I need to get rid of those things that are down there. If not, I'm done here. Poison water or not. Okay, I'll get rid of the infected, and you tell me what happened. Deal? Sure. Deal. Okay, you're safe. Now, what's the story with the water? Wait. So you really are one of those fucked up pilgrims. Wait, fucked up? Now we're safe. You're a fucking criminal. Or pretty damn fucked up to drag your ass hundreds of miles through a world full of virals. Fucked up in a good way, of course. So, what about the water? There ain't nothing wrong with my water. The man at the bazaar was poisoned. And you'll be blamed if he dies. <sighs> damn it. Okay. It was an accident. Okay? Yeah, an accident. It's because of these goddamn thieves. Thieves? They're always stealing my water. I can't take it anymore. So, I decided to set the trap. Do you deliberately poison the water to kill the bandits? Uh, not quite. At least, uh, I didn't mean to. A, a while ago, I killed this viral that came crawling in here. And the fucker fell straight into a tub. The whole tub fucking ruined. But then I got this idea. Why don't I teach these bastards a lesson? So I filled some bottles with the zombie water, sent them out where they'd be easy to see. They were never supposed to make it into the bazaar. Guess I was sauced up and accidentally sold a few bottles to Julian. Look, I'll give you all the flour I got. I'll even throw something extra. Just don't tell anybody. I'd be ruined. Just be honest and tell your story to the bazaar. It was an accident. You nuts! No one would buy even a drop of water from me ever again! I won't let Julian hang for something he didn't do. Fuck Julian! Got my own skin to save. So that's a story you ain't going to tell. <laughs> Ugh! <laughs> 
Standing by to serve you. That'll take you to a whole new level. Yeah, baby! Tell your friends about me, buddy. Hold on. 
This is serious business. Let's give the kid a bit more time. Aiden, Aiden, tell him. What's going on? The water's responsible for two deaths. Bevan's husband and the hunter, Hans. Julian's accused of killing them both by poisoning their water. Aiden, please, tell them it wasn't me. Julian's innocent. A viral fell into his supplier's storage tub. You'd swear to that before the Bazaar Council? Yeah, absolutely. Hmm. Then my job here is done. Look, Anna, I'm sorry about your husband. Where's that supplier? He has to pay. The supplier's dead. I, uh, I killed him. It appears justice has been served. Let's go, Anna. It's okay. I forgive you. They were so close to hanging me. Thank you, Aiden. Half of my flower is yours. Yeah, the flower mixed with plaster? Huh? Uh, no, where did you hear that? Oh, yes, so once, but, you know, it, it... Keep the plaster. Just pay me and we'll be even. All right. I'll tell Bibbin what happened. My business is gonna take a hit. Heard you were the curious type. Almost at it. Oh, and it's gone again.
Ugh, oh, this looks more like squirrel than mink. Well, I'd better get to the bazaar and give this to Lola. Here you go. My precious mink! Oh, you are truly sent from above. Lola is complete once more. You deserve a reward. Do you wish Lola to reward you with a song? Um, no thanks. I really gotta be going. How sad! How I wish to serenade my conquering hero. You deserve a more proper reward than a song anyway. Take this with Lola's deepest gratitude. <laughs> Thanks. When one of us is killed, they barely notice. But when the commander is killed, they turn the place upside down.
killed, they barely noticed. The way the commander was killed, they turned the place upside down. Thank <laughs> you. 